Hello and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this 2017 Phoenix Cruiser. I'm going to apologize in advance. I might call it a PT Cruiser every now and then. I've been doing it all week, uh, but it is a Phoenix Cruiser, not a PT Cruiser. Uh, first thing I want to point out from out here is that it's a low profile Class C van. All right, so low profile meaning it's 10 foot one to the top of the air conditioner. This one does have in motion satellite up there. So it's going to be a little taller than that, but it is low profile. If you've got a low carport or storage unit, this is uh, a good coach for you. Uh, it's on the Ford E40 chassis. So I'm actually going to start right up front. This is stock number 5U210-480, in case you're interested in it. It is still available. This is the 2910 floor plan which means it's a triple slide. I'm gonna start up front here. Uh, let's see here. So I can show you my favorite part of this coach. This is a hot rod. As you can see, anybody who knows an engine knows this is a Caterpillar 700 horsepower V10. You got your flux capacitor right here in the front. Okay, just kidding. It's not a cat, obviously it's not yellow. We can paint it yellow if you really want a cat, okay? This is a Ford V10, plenty of horsepower and torque, easy access to all your fluids, your battery, everything's right here. As usual, if you have questions on the blinker fluid or the flux capacitor, give me a call. As we move around to the side here, you can see these fancy wheels here. Those are simulators, they're not aluminum wheels, but they look really nice. We just put new tires on it, as you can see, so it's got plenty of, plenty of tread to last you for quite a while. I'm gonna keep moving around here. Like I said earlier, this is a triple slide, so you've got one slide on the passenger side, and then you'll have two on the driver's side, and we'll go through those here shortly. As you can see, we've got a nice awning out here. And because it's a low profile van or C, the awning's actually a little lower than it typically would be, so you get a lot more shade, a lot more coverage. Let's go through this first storage compartment here. This is probably your biggest storage compartment here. Plenty of room to put your hoses, any of your miscellaneous items here. And as we come back here, you can see we've got an access ladder for the top. Short climb because it is a short coach. We've got one small um, storage bay here that... Actually, I'm going to come back to this because i got to take the ladder off here at the end um, and I'll show you how that works. We've got a receiver hitch back here with a seven pin outlet. So typical with this size of vehicle, it's a 5,000 pound towing capacity. We've got a backup camera up here. So you don't run over anybody when you're backing up. Makes it really nice. Here's your city water connection. And then you've got a gravity fill. Here's your shore power. This is where you would connect your 30 amp connection when you're at the RV park or at home. And then here's your cable outlet. So if you had an RV park and they still have cable, this is where you would plug that in. All right. Here's your propane tank. That's a 9.9 .9 gallon propane tank. This does have a 6.6 oh, .6 gallon water heater. Here's your outdoor shower. And then we're gonna go ahead and work. As you can see down here, we've got a generator. I've got the generator fired up so we can run the air conditioning inside. There's your exhaust. This does have a gas generator to own in 4K. Now we can go inside. I 
I do like the colors on this coach and I like the length, right? So it's a 29, so it's just a little over 30 foot in length. For a Class C, I mean, this is gonna give you a lot of space inside as you'll, you'll see here in just one second. So we come down to main entry here. Just point out a couple things. Here's your awning controls, awning lights, your step control, patio light and ceiling lights, and then your main battery disconnect right here. Also, if you're a really good cook, you might need one of these. Comes in handy. All right, so here as you can see, the opposing slides, this is a triple slide. So we do have opposing slides. This will turn into a small bed. This is 54 by 74. And then the booth dinette on this side will also turn into a small bed. The table comes down. So a couple small kiddos, uh, one adult balled up. Right, if they need a place to crash, that's a good spot as well. Main control panel right here. So here's your own-in generator start and stop. Your hours. Your Xantrax controller right here. This is where you would turn on your inverter, which will supply power to your main outlets, your TV. Here's your slide controls. And then your tank levels. So this will tell you. Uh, where the tanks are. We've got a 46 gallon fresh tank on this, 23 gallon black, and a 35 gallon gray. Water heater, six gallons. So you can see up front here, we've got a nice TV. You've got your storage here for your receivers, your DVD players, whatever you want to throw in here. This actually comes with this more storage, plenty of storage inside. Like I said, on the outside, you got one main storage compartment, but inside you're gonna have a ton of storage. All right, while we're up front here, I wanna point out just a couple quick things. Like I said, it's on a Ford E40 chassis. Uh, nothing particular about this, nothing fancy, but we do have a HWH hydraulic leveling system on this. The controls are right down below on the left side. This little red light right here, will light up when the, the jacks are down just to kind of remind you so you don't try to take off with the jacks down and it looks like the previous owner put some really nice um, mats inside to catch all the the mud and water if you're out playing in the dirt all right here in the kitchen we've got a two burner gas stove And we've got a nice convection oven. Because this is a low profile, uh, I'm seven foot two, so you can see I got plenty of room. Just kidding, I'm 5'11". Easy to access this. Most times, a lot of times in a regular coach, it's really high. Folks are having to reach up, especially if you're vertically challenged. Can be a, a nice trick there. All right. Got a nice stainless steel sink. Corian countertops, these are pretty solid. If you're on the road and need a good workout, you can do some curls with these. And they give you a nice spot to store them in. All right, down here. This is kind of cool. I really like this. They give you a cutting board. A lot of times people use their sink covers as a cutting board. This is a nice cutting board or also, also could work as an extension for your countertop. You get a couple nice deep drawers. Put your silverware in here. Okay. And then down in here, you're gonna have a nice spot to put all your cleaning supplies. We've got a 110 outlet here. Here's your, so your, uh, your water heater is gonna be uh, electric or propane. This right here is where you would choose which one you want. Here's your water pump and then your tank heaters. So this does have tank heaters so your water doesn't freeze. We've got a six cubic foot North Cold refrigerator here. And again, this will also run off of electric or gas. Gives you a nice option. As we come into the bathroom area here, let me open this up and I'll slide out of the way. Got a nice size shower.
like the shower separated from the bathroom here, your toilet and that door will open up here. You have a medicine cabinet in the bathroom, some nice storage. Single seat, single seat, and then there's another outlet under there. So you can plug in your hair dryer, your razor, whatever you want to plug in there. On the door, there's a full size mirror here, or nice size mirror, so you can check yourself out when you get ready to go out to the, the barbecue at the RV park, or if you're inviting friends over. All right, and here we got a queen size bed. Some over, overhead storage. Got a couple reading lights under here, one on each side. And then you have an escape window. And then you got nice wardrobe area here. Got one wardrobe, one drawer on each side. Some more storage back here. Here's your Samsung DVD player there. You can see we could use those auto leveling jacks. They're not auto leveling, but we could use those hydraulic leveling jacks right now. We're kind of on an incline here. Here's your slide control for your bedroom. And then you got a huge TV here, full wall TV right here, so you can watch your favorite show. This bathroom door, I do want to point out, this would be your, if you're going to be using the bathroom or if you want some privacy, you would just short, shut it across here and it lays right here. Give you some privacy. Oh, you know what? Storage under the bed. There's a ton of storage under here for a small coach. You can fit, you know, a lot of stuff in there, some extra water, whatever you want to carry in there. All right, well, that is it for our 2017 Phoenix Cruiser. If you have any questions on this coach or any other coaches, uh, you can call me, text me, email me. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. I told one of my customers, Chris, his birthday was on Tuesday. He's about 70 years old now. Just kidding. He's a lot younger than I am. I told him I just wish him a happy birthday again on camera. Um, give me a call if you guys have any questions. If you want me to do a video on a different coach or do a FaceTime video with you on any of our inventory. Thank you guys and we'll see you next time.